We are on a winter road trip through the Canadian Rockies here in Alberta. We live in Calgary and we drove from Calgary to Lake Louise this morning. Had a little break here and for the first time ever we're on our way to Jasper. We've never been to Jasper before and going to Jasper you have to take Icefield Parkway which is a highway they connect, that connects the National Park of Banff from Lake Louise to Jasper. It's 232 kilometers long and it's been named as one of the world's most beautiful drives and we are so excited to go on this road trip. It's currently snowing and you can't quite see that much but we're hoping maybe it will clear out a little bit more on our way to Jasper so we could show you my GoPro is at the ready set up all in the car and I'll film with my GoPro Hero 8 Black which I love absolutely love this little camera um, I'm not filming on it right now by the way I'm filming on Canon G7X which I also love and it's fantastic for vlogging for more action kind of videos I use my GoPro Hero 8 Black and we'll use it on our way to Jasper driving through Icefield Parkways let's do this my good intentions have been destroyed because it's very foggy and it's snowing and we're driving right behind the snow clearing vehicle can't see any mountains and that was just our luck and Alberta for you the weather forecast wasn't anything like that it was supposed to be sunny in the afternoon and it's the afternoon now we are driving through a very real winter wonderland but there is more to it there are mountains behind all this fog and we can't see anything Boo. so for this trip I have envisioned two vlogs one would have been the Icefields Parkway like the whole drive because it's supposed to be so beautiful and we were so looking forward to seeing of the drive I think we have another like two hours to go a bit less but I think we can start seeing things Yay. things are looking up that's a huge improvement to what we used to see an hour ago the outlines of the mountains getting a lot more excited now just stopped to take some photos here it looks stunning can't see much but it's beautiful <laughs> and this is the state of our car <laughs> we were just driving we didn't even stop anywhere so you guys finally something interesting happening on this road trip we just came out of that cloud of snow and fog couldn't see anything it's supposed to be so beautiful and we were so disappointed and now we've stumbled upon i don't see that car over there that's parks canada and they are arranging for the avalanches to happen so artificially causing avalanches so it's not dangerous for us me to drive down those roads and yeah it might take up to an hour and a half they mentioned and we really appreciate it because it's like could be really 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 dangerous driving down there and that's where we headed so we're gonna sit in our car nice and cozy full of snacks and just wait patiently until that's done and we can continue on our road trip so I don't know if it's going to be down this mountain or maybe down there. I think there's a little cloud of snow there, so maybe there's 
what's happening there. There's some gathering of cars already and everybody's patiently waiting because it's just not safe if the avalanche hits the road when people drive so we appreciate what you're doing parks canada and this is what happened to our car as we were driving and the snow <laughs> oh my god it's so packed it's crazy can't even see our brake lights or anything it's not to safe the boot <laughs> wow but yeah this is the situation so we'll be sitting in the car for over an hour now waiting for this avalanche situation to clear and the park warden told us that maybe 10-15 more minutes and then we'll be on our way it's been long there is no reception here so we're like what are we gonna do it's cold it's windy so we wanted to go out and maybe like take the girls on the sled but it's very windy although it's only minus five it feels a lot colder so we're just staying in the car the girls are watching their tablets ollie downloaded some movies we've got games there for them so we don't need any reception but we can't use anything <laughs> and it's been long and it's quarter to three and uh jasper hotel check-in starts at four so i think we're gonna head straight for jasper because even if we wanted to hit some places on the highway off the highway like some Wapta falls and athabasca falls i don't know if we can see anything it's just wind blowing the snow everywhere so we might just head for Jasper and have a quiet evening. Maybe there is a fireplace or something. I'm gonna warm up a little bit and maybe explore some more tomorrow. And we can go. They just released all the cars that were waiting kind of that way, southbound, and we're northbound. So after all these cars, it will be our turn. Hopefully the conditions are fine now. And here we go, our windscreen is frozen. Going very slow just behind the park warden, just to be safe. And I think that's probably where they sent all the other marshes, like down here and down there, and then cleared the road. And now we can go. We better be safe. I can't believe that out of all days we would get a day like this to drive we just passed Columbia ice field somewhere on this side I assume but we can't see anything what a shame just hoping to get to our hotel safely and maybe go explore tomorrow if we can like look at that where are we going? When there are moments of clarity, a bit less snow, it looks so breathtaking. Look at those mountains, look at that. It's so beautiful and we can only imagine what it's like on a sunny day. And yeah, that's what we're getting today, <laughs> basically. But we're hoping that maybe the white back would be nice so if you're not subscribed to my channel do so now and find out maybe the following week if we manage to see anything <laughs> through all this on the way back this is super pretty and we just came off Iceville Parkway and we're on our way to some waterfalls we'll see if we can make it <laughs> It's snowing ever so slightly, it seems really quiet, but there's a lot of snow here. So if we get stuck, we're in trouble. Oh, which way? That way. <laughs> All right. Whoa! That is a proper Christmas postcard right here. Looks cool. So the farm is getting ready. And apparently some water falls is only like 100 meters down that way. I think I can hear it. 
I think I can hear it. Sounds like waterfalls. That's exciting. And there is some information about winter walking in Jasper. Like they suggest best to bring crampons. We'll see. The trail is quite packed for now. Not bad. And there's some information about some waterfalls. Oh, not bad. Lots of different cross country and snowshoeing trails. Super fun. That's a lot of getting ready for a hundred meter walk. <laughs> but they've been sitting in the car the whole day, so that's kind of fun. Off we go. Probably wasn't the best idea to take the sled to see the waterfalls. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks already pretty cool. I think there is a nice viewpoint from the bridge. Okay, you guys, that's literally like three minutes walk from the park, car park. What? Oh my god! That looks insane! It looks nothing like what I've seen on Instagram <laughs> from my photographer friends because they mostly come in the summer, but wow! And that's literally the other side of this. That's where the water is going. That is insane. Wow. And that was my fam jam having fun. <laughs> Sledding with the view. Not that they care, but they better. <laughs> right, I'm a little bit frozen, but I wanted to go all the way down to a better viewing point to see what exactly the water's full. Wow, the sheer power here, huh? It's pretty cool. Would you look at that? That is crazy. Look at that water over there. <laughs> and it goes all through that canyon. And that's where I was like two minutes ago. That's insane. Seriously, what a gorgeous place this is. And like, what would I do? to go snowshoeing there right now. It's snowing ever so slightly. The skies are clearing out. Having that as a view, as you snowshoe around here, how gorgeous is this? Wow. I can't believe this place and I can't believe that we have such perfect, beautiful conditions after like the whole day of or like being stuck in like the most depressing cloud ever just literally two minutes walk from the car park that is like right up there and you get a view of this you guys put Jasper on your bucket list I'm going to try another viewpoint just going a little bit up here This is some fairy tale here. Seriously, look at how beautiful. And the light is so perfect. Let's see what happens here. What? And that's that little bridge where I just was two minutes ago. That's insane. So we ended up stopping here for a few photos. I'll put them on the screen now. And you should follow me on Instagram as well. And
and we are about 50 kilometers away from Jasper. We're not gonna stop at Athabasca Falls because due to the avalanche practice, whatever they were calling it, prevention, we were stuck for an extra hour and we had to drive very slow because the conditions were pretty terrible and it was dangerous. So now I think we'll just head to Jasper because it's getting dark. Um, and maybe explore Athabasca Falls on the way back. And after a day of the most ridiculous weather, when we couldn't see anything and couldn't enjoy one of the most breathtaking drives in the world, the skies finally cleared and we got to see Icefields Parkway in all its glory. For the last hour of our trip, we managed to catch the most gorgeous sunset as we arrived in Jasper. What a day it was! After the longest day of driving, some disappointments at the beginning and incredibly rewarding experiences, Towards the end, we are finally in Jasper. It's half past five now and it's very dark outside. So now um, we are staying at Jasper Inn for two nights and we're going to go exploring Jasper Inn around. I have some places that I want to visit on my bucket list and hopefully we'll manage to hit some of them tomorrow with our friends and our girls. And we're gonna go out for a quick dinner and then put the kids to bed and just rest here downstairs and I'll show you our hotel room and what we get up to in my next video. If you enjoyed this one, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe if you're new here and we'll see you guys next time.